Hi guys, it's the 11th, mid-October so to speak. And just put again a new version of Cairo online on SourceForge. And with this photo, I'll want to emphasize that it's just not what uh, somebody showed in one of their videos. It's not only XFCE, right? My goal is not to have XFCE as a desktop, but it is to use Chat.vm as a desktop. So when you log in, this is SEM with a nice theme. You have the option to go for XF session Wayland, which does not work yet, XFC session or chat WM. So my goal, and I'll show you in this video, is to actually have chat WM, right? Now I gave already the hint, Control T, and well, let's first kill PyCam, which is Control Alt O in VirtualBox. If we go for nsdmk, a shortcut to a certain file, and we say here session xfc, no, we say chatwm. And who am I? I'm a user, and the user is called Eric. So basically, I'm telling the system, sdm, if you're gonna um, start the system, then auto login with the session chatwm as Eric. We save this. Yes, please. And we reboot. So that's the first thing I'll do. Well, not not particularly this, but um, yes, I'll I want to get into automatically get into the desktop of my choice, which is a fork of DWM, which is fast and, and super efficient in my eyes anyway. Right. Because I know all my key bindings. So killing Pykem here again, and that is variety. Variety is providing wonderful wallpapers, which I can go for Alt N. Alt N is the next one. If I don't like this one, I'll do Alt T to trash it. And on it goes, right? You can just keep on editing and, and well, changing the wallpapers. And this is one I like, right? It's a nice one. So I'll keep this one. Thing is, this is where I belong, right? I created Cairo to be here. And if at some point in time, Arch is going to fail us, who knows, right? If Arch is going to fail us, who knows, then um, where should I go? I can go to two places, to YouTube, and I can go to GitHub, right? So I'll take both of them. So on GitHub and on Eric Dubois. Yes, we accept everything. Yes, sure. And if you look at the repositories, 219 of them, anything with this, right, five letters, you'll find there is a configuration. And you see it's forked from Arcanlex, changed it to my liking, fork from the original one, Sidak. But if Arch will fail, shall fail, I don't know, right, in the future, I can easily go to Linux Mint or Bunsen Labs, Manjaro, Artix, FreeBSD, MX Linux, Anduin, Void, Solus, Alma Linux, Debian, Fedora, Nobara, PopOS, Peppermint, LMD, Ubuntu, etc. Right? It's possible to migrate to use this particular, well, tiling window manager, DWM, fork from. This is the original guy, right? I've made my own take on it because we have in here one, two, three. 10 desktops and here one two three four five right and i use it when i develop in a way when i used to develop i had was using all 20 screens because 10 to the left monitor 10 to the right monitor is all filled that's one place to be except all sure and then let's find arconex and then maybe arconex shut wm oh there he is eric the one right and then stop the video go for the search and find chat wm and learn about this particular thing and here is everything i created about uh, chat wm let's see how many i wonder actually how many 21 right wow 21 videos just about ubuntu and chat wm and it goes on like that arconet chat wm 48 videos here and you learn about this particular desktop, which is pretty cool, fast, efficient. I mean, I'm sticking to it. And that's why Cairo is there, 
<laughs> not for XFC. Yes, as a fallback, sure, great. And all the particular um, aspects of, of um, XFC, there's lots of things that we can just run and it works, right? There are lots of applications that we say, run this, run that, and fine, everything is, is popping up or working uh, as it's supposed to work. But I'm here for this guy. WM. Now, if this would be my real system, my, my uh, main PC system, I'll do kit Cairo Nemesis. So when you run, when you install Cairo, it is pretty much a system for all computers out there. That's one thing, right? But it also has things for the Japanese and the Korean people, etc., because of Calamars. So I'm going for my current choices here, zero current choices. I'm running this particular batch. So look what's in here. Just open it with whatever you like as an editor. But you see here, I don't want Korean fonts. I don't need them. I want them for Calamars. I will never choose ButterFS, nor is there a choice in Calamars to do that. So off it goes, right? But these are things from Arch ISO, the application that builds the ISO. So afterwards, I say, well, I don't need this, I don't need that. But also missing things. So I'll, I'll install things. Again, um, Vim is going to go in my eyes. I don't want Vim, right? I, I like it. If, if you love it, great, right? For uh, total respect. But no, not for me. I'm going to go for Nano. So XFC Prox and all that uh, it has to go, but then in sync is not on the ISO of Cairo, but I'd like to have it. Signal desktop, the same thing, and it goes on installing more things and also building. Opera is not available on the Chaotic AOR, so I'll build it. And each time, uh, well, I'll do a new build from time to time and say just up all, and it just builds the new Opera. And with these days, we need this extra thing here to have the YouTube videos and other videos. So here are the settings that I was talking about earlier on. So I'm going to change the KDE settings.conf in here and saying Eric has to be the user. Auto login is correctly configured for the user Eric with session chat WM. So I did it already. So it just says everything okay. I'm going to leave it as is. Otherwise, it would become the user, in this case Eric, and chat WM as the default login um, desktop or tiling window manager. So it's going to go over some settings I'd like to keep. And that's the point, right? Whatever operating you choose, operating system you choose, be in control. And I've put a yes, no thing at the end um, because of users maybe who do not want to say yes here, but I'd like to switch. So changing default shell to fish, changing shell for Eric shell changed. It will appear after you log out and log in. So this is kill, 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 control T, FF. This is bash. Super X, log out, log in, control T, killing Pykem. Yeah, we probably need to do that. Voila, FF. And what we see is we're in fish. And it's fun, right? I, I tend to forget, and we are people, so R, R what? There is R, B, R, C, R, D, R, H, or S is probably install something, but what is there more? There is S, B, remove all packages from cache. Okay, skip all dependency checks. I didn't know we could that, do that, right? You read and you, lo you know more. Show less information um, as well, list all packages in repository. And have to tell them which repository. Well, kill the KVR, for example. Boom, right? They get a long list of all the packages that they can download from Kill the KVR. Goes on and on and on. How do I go up again? Shift page up. Right? And it's got, it's a long list. Shift page up. But actually, it goes fast. This virtual machine. Look at how fast it goes through. Uh, Four thousand. Packages more or less. I don't know. You have a look at Kelta KOR, but it's a long list and it just flies through it. And we're at the top again. So, yes, 
I am a fan of ChatWM or in DWM in general. Maybe you can become a fan too. Cheers.